Example 181.5. Use the binomial table. Find the probability that out of eight flips of the fair coin, we have at least five tails. So we're looking for the probability of having at least five tails. Probability of at least five tails. They mentioned that it's a fair coin. That tells us the probability of being a tails is 50%. So the first thing I want to do is start out with what they're asking us here in this problem. At least five means what? It means five or more, correct? Because at least five means a minimum of five. So five or more. So this is the same as the probability of five or more, right? Now, five or more means essentially the probability that it's five plus the probability that it's six, plus dot, 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 all the way up to the probability that it's eight. Now I stop at eight because there are only eight flips of the coin. You certainly couldn't have more than eight tails if there's only eight flips, right? Okay, so this is essentially the correct probability statement. However, when we use the binomial table like they're asking us to do, we can't do this. We can't add probabilities success, you know, successively all the way up to a certain number. We can only take from a starting point and go down. So if I looked up eight, for example, I could get eight all the way down to zero added together. If I looked up five, I could get five all the way down to zero added together. If I looked up six, I could get six added to five, added to four, added to three, two, one, zero altogether. But I can't get five up, it doesn't do that. So what I have to do is figure out a logical way to find this without using um, you know, this solution directly because the table can't do that. So what I'm gonna do is just remind you of a simple idea which is that when you have all the possible outcomes, you have all the associated probability. And all the associated probability is one. So in other words, if I did the probability that I have zero tails plus the probability that I have one tails, right, plus dot, 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 all the way up to the probability that I have four tails plus the probability that I have five tails plus dot, 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 the probability that I have eight tails. If I look at all that, right, those are all the different scenarios, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All of those probabilities added together would have to add up to 100% because it covers all the possible scenarios, right? I could either have no tails or one tail or four tails or five tails, so on and so forth, right? So if I add up all those different separate probabilities, they should add up to 100%. Now, I want to have this answer. This is what I want. I want to know the probability that it's from 5 to 8. So it's either five or six or seven or eight. I'm looking for that probability. So five or more, right? But I can't get that from the table. So what I need to do is to figure out this probability. And the reason why is if I know this, right, then this is kind of like a simple equation, right? If I call this probability of A and I call this B, right? Then what does it say here? A plus B is equal to one. So if I'm looking for B, I can just do what? One minus A is equal to B. Does that make sense? If I subtract A from both sides, we'll only get one minus A here. The A here would disappear and just leave me with B. So one minus A equals to B is what I need to do here. I need to figure out, in other words, what A is so that I can subtract it from one to figure out what B is. That's the logic here. So how do I get this? Well, that the, the table can actually do. So I can simply do one minus the probability that the number of successes here is less than or equal to four. This number four, we're going to call our C value. So we're going to call this C. That's going to be our C value. And what we're going to do after that is just list the other pieces of the puzzle here. In other words, the number of flips or the number of trials is going to be eight. The probability that I end up with a tail is going to be 0 0.50. Do you agree with that? Since it's a fair coin, half of the time it'll be tails. And then from there, after that, the last thing I need to have is this quantity C here. So I'm going to need that C quantity. C is a value we're going to look up for the binomial table. And in this case, it turns out to be one minus the value they started out by giving me, which is five. And the reason why is because we're gonna go from four to zero, which is all the probability I don't want. I'll subtract that from one, leaving me with everything that I do want. All right, so let's go to our table and look up these quantities now. We're gonna look up 0.8, or sorry, not 0.8, or I mean 0.5, n is eight, and c is four, and that's gonna give us this probability. When we come back, we'll subtract that result from one. Okay, so, one minus whatever we get from the table. Let's go to the table now and look that up. Okay, so we're at our binomial table here under n equals eight, and I said it was 
C, but they use the symbol K. It's the same thing though, so what I wrote in the problem is C is really K. But we're going to use N equals 8, P is 0.5, and then we're going to go down to where we see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we get the answer 0. 0.637 as the number we need for our problem. 0. 0.637. Okay, so on our table they're actually using K as the notation for C, so I'm sorry about that. I thought that they would use C. Most tables use C. So we're using K. It makes no difference really though overall. You're just looking up that extra piece of information that C or K is equal to 4. And when we did that, we found the answer to be 0 0.637. That was the number we found in our binomial table when N was 8 and P was 0.5 and our K here was 4. Okay, so based on that, then we'll get our final solution to the problem. We're just going to do 1 minus 0.637 and that's our answer. So 1 minus 0.637 and of course you get 0.363. So the answer is 0.363 or 36.3% of the time. We'll end up with five or more tails and that's it.